there is a what looks like a Nissan Frontier in the ditch. Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this episode, we're actually going to be jumping into a snowplow, seeing as it's starting to get a little colder outside. Now, there are some parts of the U.S. that already have snow, but there are also some parts that are really never going to get snow, but I kind of figured that because of the time of year, this was a fitting mission to do. Now, the vehicle that you're seeing on screen right now is the IV711, and this is actually part of the IX equipment pack, or you can get it by itself, but honestly, I would recommend just grabbing the IX equipment pack because it comes with a really nice variety of vehicles anyway. This being one of the ones that I would say is definitely more on the uh, more on the lineup of a winter vehicle uh, kind of mod pack, so to speak. Now, the mod pack itself is not all dedicated to winter vehicles. There are a couple of other things in there, like there's a skid steer. I want to say there's a log skidder, a couple of different things, but this one is definitely more geared towards uh, winter time gameplay. Now, it's very close to the way it would be completely stock. We've gone ahead and thrown beans up there on the dash, and as you can see, we've also got a pretty nifty rear view camera as well. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up, and uh, let's, uh, let's start clearing off these roads a little bit, and also, so, I've heard that there may be some vehicles in the ditch, but if we see them, well, we'll try to get them out. But if we don't see them, I guess we'll just be plowing roads. So, let's fire it up. Fires up real quick, actually. So, we're going to get on out of the garage area, and I'm going to start to scrape the roads when I... Well, <laughs> that didn't take long. Literally, all I did was make a left, and it's like, oh, yep, all right, you're going to be scraping the roads now. So, let me see. I'm not going to... Well, you know what? I'll start right here. Yeah, I'll start right here. So, what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the plow lowered down. I don't know if this plow is, like, angleable, but, like, I'm not going to mess with that too much. All right, so the plow is actually on the ground now, and not actually, though. That was odd. It was earlier. All right, it's definitely on the ground now. Except not really, because it, like, nope, that's not what I meant to do. The plow actually seems like it, um, okay, there we go. Now are you in the ground? Yes. Well, sort of, for the most part. It, it kind of skips off of the ground sometimes whenever the vehicle goes over bumps, which can be a little bit frustrating, but it's, oh god, uh, it can't turn. It literally can't turn. Well, I guess it is in the ground then. If it can't turn, then it's definitely, like, or at least if I'm having a lot of trouble turning, it's gotta be in the ground. I wish it would actually push the snow. That's something that I've always wanted in SnowRunner, and something that I feel like they definitely have the physics capability to do, but they just never really put it into the game. You can still RP out the idea of plowing snow, but it doesn't really accumulate into a big plowed snow drift or accumulate into like a pile on the side of the road. That would be super neat if they could do that, but I think that it's a little bit outside of the scope of what they were going for in the game. I mean, you know, if we're being completely honest, it's not a snow plowing game, but I think, you know, just implying that there's obviously snow in the name, it would be nice to have the ability to kind of push the snow around. But nevertheless, we could still RP that out with trucks like this. Now, I think I see something off in the distance. Something a little bit, a little bit out of place. There's a C8 Corvette off in the trees. Why did you take it out in the snow? I'm a bit confused. I feel like that wouldn't necessarily be something that you would take out of the snow. I tell you what, let me finish plowing over here and then we'll try to pull them out. Hopefully they're not too stuck. Looks like they spun out and maybe hit a tree. Oh, God. Hopefully the car's not too banged up. Here, I tell you what. We'll get the plow up off the ground. Luckily, that plow is actually super fast. It moves really, really quickly. It's well set up. All right, let's not cause more damage to that vet before we pull it out. All right, we'll just pull you back onto the road. And then leave you there for the tow truck to come and get. All right. Hopefully it's... Oh, yeah. It's easy to pull out. To be fair, these things are really, really light. So it's not really going to be all that much resistance on the uh, on the dump truck here to get it out. I'll tell you what. Actually, 
Let's put them over here in this parking lot of the motel. That'll actually be a good place to leave them so that they're not chilling out in the middle of the road. All right, you good there? Yes? Cool. All right, we're going to leave you right there. And we're going to get turned around and not hit the parked traffic cars. All right, let's make our way down the other way. And since we've already scraped this road, what we'll do is we'll head back this way. And once we get down to the other end, then we'll kind of change course a little bit. Now, obviously, you're going to be traveling a whole heck of a lot faster when you don't have that plow down. When you have the plow down, you're going to be reducing your speed by a lot. But thankfully, we have studded tires on this thing. So even when we are rolling out pretty good, we're not really having to worry about constantly sliding all over the place. All right. So let's see. I think what we're going to do is we're going to scrape this direction now. And let me go ahead and put the plow oh, down. There we go. All right, that should be good. That should be in a position where it's actually usable and it's actually contacting the ground. Crazy part about this is that going this way, I'm actually pretty dang, um, like, quick and I've got a good amount of grip. All right, let's see if we can... There we go. Oh, I did not mean to... I did not mean to bump into the handrail of the freaking coffee shop. Let's not try to smash into people's property. That's... That's not going to go over very well when they ask why there's a bill for a coffee shop handrail uh, <laughs> in their mailbox. All right, let's go ahead and put it back down. We'll scrape it back on the other way. Now, cool thing about this route is I actually didn't realize that it was super short going down this way. Huh. Oh. Dang, I'm not even scraping. Okay, there we go. Now I am. Now we're properly scraping. Can we get the camera out of the trees? That would be great. All right, now let's get you back up again. I'm actually running real low on fuel, too. I didn't realize I was going to be running so low on fuel so quickly. Thing's only got a 16-gallon tank. What is this, a passenger car? Jeez. All right, we need to scrape down here a little bit as well. And, oh, I think I see something down there. Before we, you know what? Before we head down that way... The garage is right there, so we should probably back up, back into the garage, and refill our fuel tank. See, we have a tank on that side and a tank on that side, and you're telling me it only holds 16 gallons? Now, granted, I get it. This thing is meant to fit into the vanilla game balance, but God, 16 gallons. We need some more fuel there, bud. All right, let's back on in, see if we can get them to refuel us. We can. We're good. All right. Now, we get to plow down that other direction, so I'm going to make sure the... Uh, the the all-wheel drive is on sometimes if you if you don't have it on especially when it's oh i forgot to lock the gate yep gate is locked now if you don't lock the gate it'll flap all over the place although that is quite realistic to be honest all right let's back this thing up and we'll get this section scraped uh down there we go still not super proficient with this uh <laughs> with this plow the controls are pretty straightforward. I'm just not super proficient with them yet. All right. Yeah, this one could definitely use some scraping. Also, there is a what looks like a Nissan Frontier in the ditch. I don't know what you were doing, but uh, it doesn't seem like it went very well. I tell you what, we'll scrape this side of the road, and then we'll go about halfway down. And when we turn around and come back, we'll, we'll kind of try to pull them out. Yeah, we're going to need to make two passes on this anyway. It's a pretty wide road. So let's go down just a little bit further. This is where it turns into an ice road. And we're not going to go that far. We're just going to plow up until it gets to the ice road. And then once we get to the ice road, we'll flip the truck around. Go a little fast there, bud. Kind of, like, skipped over the top. All right. Plow up. All right. And what we'll do now is we'll go out onto the ice... We'll get turned around on the ice, and then we'll scrape in the opposite direction. All right, so easy does it. There we go. Whoa, God, easy. Come on, come on. Sometimes the transmission in this thing is a little sluggish to respond, but that's okay. It happens from time to time. All right, we'll put you back down. There we go. Hopefully that's not too high still. Ah, uh, it needs to be a little lower. There we go. I was going to say, it needs to be a little bit lower. Not doing too bad of a job, though. I mean, 
we're still able to basically keep the blade in the ground and or on the ground i should say and maintain a decent amount of speed a decent amount of pace i mean this is definitely is honestly probably a lot more than you would do uh plowing in real life well it depends on the road it depends on the road that you're plowing all right so we've got that little what, what the heck did you do dude you like slid all over the place okay well we're gonna scrape all the way down to the end and then i'm gonna bring the plow back up and we'll pull you we'll actually probably pull you back to the garage because you're so close all right so let's get the plow back up into the air and then now we can back up and hook up to that front tier i still don't know what they were trying to do they are way off in like the ditch for no reason really truly have no idea why they're off in the ditch like that but all right now now that we've scraped the road though we should have a decent amount of grip let's back on in all right and oh yeah we'll hook right up to their uh right up to their hitch not too bad we're spinning a little bit trying to get them out but not too bad at all i'm gonna go ahead and get a quick photo of that because you know what that works out great. <laughs> that works out great. They, they, they won't even believe me when I tell them I rescued somebody out of the ditch. Unless I have photos. If I have photo proof, then they can't say, ah, sure you did. No, I've got photo proof that I rescued somebody out of the ditch. You kidding me? Let's go ahead and get stuck. Oh, my God. Well, thankfully, no damage. To I'm not worried about damage to this. It's a solid dump body. But, like, that I'm worried about damage to. All right. Let's get you back to the garage. And then whoever your owner is can stop by and claim you. But either way, I think it's time for this thing to uh, to shut down and finish its plowing shift. And, well, plowing shift slash part-time recovery truck shift. And if you guys enjoyed this RP in SnowRunner, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.